How do you all? You know, it's interesting. Um, my other video is just, I don't know how long it's been uploaded. I forgot to look at the timing on that. Um, but it doesn't show all the likes either. Like where it's got like uh, your video feed or my video feed, right? Uh, so I, I, I seen that it had one when I was watching the video. Um, and then like in the list of videos, it, that's where it showed it had one like. So I went to the video and it didn't show any. I thought, okay, fuck it. So I liked my own video in typical, <laughs> true narcissistic fashion. Um, and then I, I closed the app completely and then went back to it. And I saw that it had three in my list, three likes in my list of videos. So I went back to the video again. And then it did show three. And it's like, how broken is this thing? Anyway, so... Um, I suppose to, to sort of recap a bit on that uh, before people start going silly in the comments, I'm sure you won't because people don't on my video channel for some reason. Probably because you know you ain't going to get away with anything. <laughs> uh, but I did say I did say a few things uh, that were inaccurate. And the one the one thing that I've been waiting for someone to say is like, Islam is not a race. <laughs> so as soon as I said it, I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm, I'm going to get I'm going to get shit for that one. I know it's not right. It's a religion. <laughs> but anyway, you, you, I'm sure you all know, know what I meant. So. Th and that's what I want to talk about in this video, actually, not not that in particular, but, you know, you know, I've said plenty of times like I, for the most part, I don't get on with this is not I don't get on with people. It's just uh, it's a matter of time before stupid shows itself. Right. <clears throat> And one of the things that I've seen repeatedly on different shorts videos of um, motorcycle clubs, in particular patched members that are riding along and then you get a member of the public like a civvy and they're on their motorbike and they'll pull up at the lights next to them and then sometimes the, the club member will start mouthing off at them and giving them a whole load of attitude and then you get the comment section. Then you get the comment section from most Americans. <laughs> so this is what makes me laugh. It's like all, all these Billy Big Bollocks, you know, uh, or or uh, what's the other one I could use? Carlos Big Cojones, right? <laughs> and all of those. It's like, well, I got my second. Sorry for the bad interpretation. Um, uh, the probable a misrepresentation and b bad in very bad impersonation of uh, what I would consider to be the typical American co uh, YouTube commentator. Well, I got myself my Second Amendment and if any goddamn club member decides to mouth at me at the lights, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna pull out my nine and I'm gonna. And by that point, I'll, I'm I'm usually hyperventilating into a paper bag. One because I'm laughing. Two because I'm enraged with the stupidity. What I what what the average civilian and YouTube commentator, uh, people that leave comments on these types of videos, do not understand, right? Is a you don't know what the situation that particular uh, club member has just been in, and the same goes for when they're riding in packs because I've seen that as well. You know, you don't know what the scenario is, but I can tell you this much: <clears throat> for the most part they're trying to keep people normal people civilians away from their battles you see every every club member knows if they're wearing that club that club patch um <laughs> uh the, yes uh, what if I'm deaf and I can't hear that sorry sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm just an argumentative prick sometimes what that what that club member, no matter what club they come from, is trying to bear in mind is if there's another club coming the other way or from another direction, there's a potential that some something's gonna go down, right? If they're not get if they're not on friendly terms, there's a potential that shit's gonna happen. And in what tends to happen, especially in the US, because you know that thing of Second Amendment, 
which is kind of like why I'm for it and kind of why I'm against it. You know, it it is that thing of like they're trying to defend the public. It's like they're trying to stop innocent people getting caught up in stuff that weren't their battle, shit that wasn't their fight. And this, this has happened a multitude, obviously, especially in the US. It's happened a multitude of times where there's end up being a shootout between two rival clubs. And there's innocent people getting getting caught up in the crossfire. This has been a thing that has been happening since forever. So when I read all these comments about these, these, these people that are going to be like, oh, well, I've got my Second Amendment. And it's like, oh, I didn't realise they owned the road. It's like they're trying to save your life, you fucking idiot. You know, and again, you, you don't know the circumstances to why they're giving you attitude. Do you think they're always a dickhead? Do you, th or do you honestly think that a, a motorcycle club from any part of the country is just going to recruit someone that's mouthing off all the time? They're more of a danger to the club than they are anything else. They're not, they're, you know, there's one thing to be like supportive of, of the club that they belong to. But they're not going to have someone that just runs around on their motorcycle running their mouth at everyone for no particular reason because that is going to bring that club in, into like it, it'll bring them problems and it'll bring problems to their doorstep and the club doesn't want that either but no it, it's just fascinating sometimes reading the comments and it's just sort of like oh yeah you're all billy big bollocks behind your fucking keyboard and your, and your screen and that ain't you and it's like you don't even realize why they're doing it it's like normally i'd say anywhere between I'd say I'd give 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 a bit of the benefit of the doubt. Seven times out of ten is because they're trying to keep people away from their shit, you know, because they know at any moment it can kick off. All it takes is a couple of other members from a different club that they they don't get on with for whatever reason, and there you have it. But no, everyone's watched Sons of Anarchy. You see, I've never actually watched Sons of Anarchy. I've seen little clips here and there, but yeah, for the most part. It, 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 this is why they do it. It's that they're not. They're, it's not that they don't. They don't like your motorcycle. Motorcycle. They might not, but that's their right. In the same as you don't have to like theirs. But for the most part, I'd say you know they, they they're trying to like keep civilians out of their battles, because as soon as that happens, what are the press doing? Oh right, well this club, that club, blah blah blah. They're all bad. People keep getting caught up in the crossfire, and so that's the reason they're doing it. And if you're out on the open road. You know, you, you don't know what the score is. So to just assume that, oh, yeah, that they're all dickheads, it's like, sure, you're going to get some people that might actually be. But at the same time, I can't see any any club that's, um, you know, has, has a level of uh, cautiousness about themselves. Just accepting someone in just because they're mouthy and they go around, you know, running their mouth at everyone. You know that, like I say, that's going to bring down more heat on that club, and it will bring that them problems to their doorstep. Or if they're out on the highway. But no, no, this, this, this is one of the things. That's and that's just one example. I, I guess it's uh, the same as when the media say experts say, right? As soon as the media say experts say, I'm thinking, what people in the comment section of, food, of um, uh, videos on YouTube or something? And then, then kind of experts, you know, the ones that haven't got any actual real life experience and they can't see past their own bullshit it's like nah man nine, nine times out of ten they're, they're or seven sorry seven times out of ten you know again you, you go to um a, a club organized event that invites non-club members in they'll be happy as larry with you they won't have a problem it's like no it's that it'll be open to the public so you so the public can go and see you know what they're like what they do have a look at their motorcycles and all of that you know so it's not that they're just dickheads that own the road it's like they're, they're, they're trying to like protect other people you know a lot, a lot of the time I, I would argue for that then but no comment sections <laughs> comment sections on motorcycle clubs and patch members and shit and it's just sort of like oh man does that does that warm my urine <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're all you're all experts on motorcycle clubs all of a sudden so get the fuck out of here man get the fuck out of here you're the exact type of people that get get caught in a crossfire trying to be carlos big cojones or billy big bollocks uh, i'm trying to think of a few other funny ones <laughs> 
uh, you know what I'm saying though, it's, it's, it's just, it's just, for me, it's really irritating because I read it and I think, right, you're a prick, you're a prick, you're a prick. Everyone that doesn't get it, I'm just thinking, you're a prick, <laughs> you're a clown, like, you just literally, and then, then it's sort of like, you know, do I give them the benefit of the doubt, you know? A, a lot of the time I don't because it's like, oh, well, I, well, I didn't realise they are in the highway and it's like, yeah, you just don't appreciate that they're actually probably trying to save someone's life, you know? And like I say, you don't know what any of them situations are about as to why they're giving you attitude you know they for all you know they, they could have just attended a funeral of one of their brothers you don't know that but yeah that's why everyone on the internet is a fucking expert all of a sudden you know <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> anyway i'm gonna wrap it up 10 minutes it's probably the shortest video i've done in a while just something i wanted to talk about you know the experts and and the all of that that the, these people that you know turn up in the comment section it's like mm, yeah yeah you go and touch grass bruv you need a reality check you know you need a reality check anyway peace